Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this video, we will learn some basics of the error correcting code and we will also learn the concept of the Hamming distance. So in the previous video, we have seen some basics of the error detection. So we have seen that when the data is transmitted from the transmitter to the receiver side over a noisy channel, then due to the external noise, some of the bits get flipped during the transmission. And we have seen that by adding the parity bit, it is possible to detect the odd number of errors. And once the error is detected, then the receiver sends the message to the transmitter for the retransmission. But sometimes it is also required that the receiver should be able to even correct the error. And for that, these error correcting codes are used. So these error correcting codes are used in applications where the retransmission is very costly or it is not possible. For example, they are used in a one-way communication link or in a multicast system. Moreover, they are also used in the computer memories and many times they are also used in a satellite communication where the latency is very high. So one of the very basic type of error correcting code is the repetition code where the same bit is sent multiple times. So in case of the triple repetition code, the one is sent as 111 while the 0 is sent as 000. That means the same bit is repeated thrice. And at the receiver, the decision is taken based on the majority. So even if the one bit flips during the transmission, then also based on the majority, it is possible to receive the correct bit. Similarly, in case of the zero, even if the one bit flips, then also it is possible to receive it correctly. But if there are two errors in the received code, and it will correct it wrongly. For example, while transmitting one, if the two errors occur during the transmission, then based on the majority decision, it will be get detected as zero. Similarly, while transmitting zero, if the two error occurs, then it will be detected as one. That means whenever the two error occurs, then it will correct it wrongly. But instead of that, if the same bit is repeated four times, then it is possible to detect the two errors. So in this case, suppose while transmitting one, if the two error occurs in the received code, then the received code has an equal number of ones and zeros. And the receiver knows that there is some error in the received code. And the same is true in case of the zero. That means during the transmission, if the two bit gets flipped, then the receiver is able to detect the error. Of course, it can't correct the error but at least it can detect the two errors. So in this way, by increasing the number of redundant bits, it is possible to correct and detect more errors. And since we are talking about the error correcting codes, so it is good to know about the Hamming distance. So let us understand the concept of Hamming distance. So the Hamming distance is the number of bit positions at which the two codes differs. So if you look these two codes, then they differ by only two bit positions. That means the Hamming distance between these two codes is equal to two. On the other end, if we compare these two codes, then they differ at the three bit positions. That means for these two codes, the Hamming distance is equal to three. So basically, this Hamming distance is the number of bit positions at which the two codes differ. All right. So now let us understand the concept of the minimum Hamming distance. So the minimum Hamming distance is the smallest Hamming distance between the all possible codes in the given encoding scheme. So to understand that, let us take the case of the BCD code. So here, the Hamming distance between the first and the second code is equal to 1. On the other end, the Hamming distance between this 0001 and the 0010 is equal to 2 because these two codes differ by the two bit positions. Likewise, the Hamming distance between this 0010 and a 0011 is equal to 1. On the other hand, if we take the case of 0111 and 1000, then in that case, the Hamming distance is equal to 4. But among all these different codes, the minimum Hamming distance is equal to 1. That means we can say that for this BCD code, the minimum Hamming distance is equal to 1. That means by error, if there is a change in even one bit, then it will lead us to the next valid code word. On the other hand, in case of this repetition code, 
the minimum hamming distance is equal to 3 that means unless all the three bit gets flipped we will not reach to the next valid code so in short for a particular encoding scheme this minimum hamming distance tells us that how many number of bit flips will lead us to the next valid code so in general using a particular coding scheme if we want to detect the d number of errors then the minimum hamming distance in that particular coding scheme should be equal to d plus 1 on the other end if you want to correct d number of errors then the minimum required hamming distance in that particular coding scheme should be equal to 2d plus 1 for example for a one bit error correction the minimum hamming distance in that particular encoding scheme should be equal to 3 now if you see the triple repetition code then in this case the minimum hamming distance is equal to 3 and that is why this code is able to correct one bit of error so in case of this repetition code by adding the extra bits we can correct the more number of errors but this repetition code is not very efficient code that means for sending even a one bit of information the two redundant bits are sent or in other words for a one bit of error correction the two extra bits are sent now the efficiency of the code is usually defined as the code rate that is equal to m divided by n that means for the m useful bits how many bits the encoder is generating so in case of this triple repetition code the code rate is equal to 1 by 3 and because of this lower efficiency the channel bandwidth is not utilized efficiently so this efficiency can be improved using the hamming code so in case of the hamming code instead of sending the same bits multiple times the extra bits are the parity bits and these extra parity bits represents the parity of the certain bits in the overall code so in the next video we will learn about this hamming code in the detail and we will also see using this hamming code how we can correct or detect the error but i hope in this video you understood the concept of the hamming distance so if you have any question or suggestion then do let me know here in the comment section below if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such videos